Ladies and gentlemen, Hex community of all ages, hey, Jake Freedom here, coming to you live from YouTube for this week's Hex Update, Saturday for September 26, 2015, and holy cow, what a week, or what a week of announcements it certainly has been. Um, probably one of the most exciting uh, weeks of announcements there's been in quite some time. Um, so before we get into the really, really big ones, let's go ahead and just start with some of the smaller ones. Obviously, everybody knows it's the September VIP weekend. This week's, this month's format is sealed play. Um, typically, I do those. I, I would plan that one this evening. That's not going to work out, so I'm going to have to do the one tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock my time, which is no big deal. It's fine. We can still make that happen. Um, so, and again, the uh, the uh, AA cards are Exarch of the Egg and Quash Ridge Tusker. So good luck to everyone who is playing and has played already. Hopefully you guys did well and who are playing tonight and tomorrow. Next, what do we have? We have a press release settlement. So it sounds like, sounds like, this is what happened is that it, it, the uh, Hex is no longer in um, in litigations with Wizards of the Coast um, on, tr uh, what do they call it, trade dress infringement. So it looks like that matter has been settled, so Hex is free and clear. We don't have to worry about Hex getting shut down anymore, which is great news. Uh, hopefully everybody shares you know enthusiasm in that, so we don't have to worry about Hex going anywhere at all. Um, so they just have a little article here saying this is the press release for the settlement and they kind of talk about Magic the Gathering, about Wizards of the Coast, Hasbro, and, Cry and Cryptozoic Entertainment, Hex Shards of Fate, and Hex Entertainment. Um, again, I'll, you know, as always, I'll link these down in the description below so you guys can certainly take a look at them at your leisure if you haven't done so already. Next, this is probably one of the biggest announcements. We, we all knew this was coming because it's been, it was been announced a long time ago, but it's Road to the $100,000 tournament how do we get there qualifying for the tournament begins october 6th which i believe is that that's not next week that's next uh, next where am i at here not next tuesday but the tuesday following that um so how do you get there well let's just go ahead and take a look here and read Hey Hexers, we're extremely excited to start the $100,000 tournament series. We hope you enjoy participating and competing for the grand prize. The beginning of the long journey starts now and 12 lucky finalists will be flown out to sunny Southern California in February 2016 to compete for fame, glory, and money. Do you have what it takes to be the first Hex Invitational Champion? So how do you participate? You can start earning entries into the Hex Invitational Qualifiers by participating in daily scheduled tournaments eight-person on-demand queues and gauntlets starting on October 6th. Hex Invitational Qualifiers will run on weekends between October and January. The first Invitational Qualifier Tournament will be sealed and take place October 10th at 8 a.m. CEST time. So how, do you, how to get qualifying tickets? Particip participate in daily tournaments, eight-person queues, which that would be, you know, um, uh, competition draft or... Uh, non-competition draft which is just regular draft there swiss gauntlets uh you can earn qualifying tickets um through those through those ways there in order to get these tickets your record will determine how many tickets you will receive so they're talking about here daily scheduled tournaments four wins receives 10 qualifying tickets three wins receives four and two wins receives one the eight person draft and constructed queues first place receives one qualifying ticket sealed and constructed gauntlets five win will receive you will receive one qualifying ticket um, so they have sealed and constructed gauntlets. Uh, I just went over that one. What am I doing here? I'm so excited about the hundred thousand dollar tournament. We can finally start getting in on this here. So we got entry to Hex Invitational Qualifier tournaments. You will need to collect ten tickets in order to participate in the Hex Invitational Qualifier. So that is news. You got to remember that there. So if you're doing drafts, um, daily scheduled tournaments is the obviously the four ones. So if you're doing the eight person drafts there. Um, first place receives one qualifying ticket. So what is the best way to get tickets here? The daily scheduled tournaments. Uh, four wins gives you 10 tickets there. Um, that would probably, that appears to be the best way to do it so far because you have two wins, you get one, three, so yeah, maybe, you know, going through draft may not be the best way. The gauntlet may not be the best way. Um, I think they're trying to force people into the daily scheduled tournaments there by giving more tickets out for wins there, which is kind of unfortunate. I do like to do draft much better or much more than in those daily tournaments there, but this is a tournament, so we're gonna have to do that, I guess, so. Hmm, kind of a bummer, but oh well. 
Uh, so here they have a listing of the qualifier tournaments. Uh, October 10th and 17th are sealed, 31st and 7th are constructed, so on and so forth. Looks like they alternate and they go two and two and they alternate back and forth all the way down to January 17th. So rules in terms of service, for more information about this, you can see the rules. And again, we'll, we'll, link the, uh, we'll link the PDFs, not this particular article. We'll link the PDFs in the description there so you guys can take a look at that. This is super exciting news. Um, hopefully, I can, hopefully I can make it in there. That'd be awesome. I don't know. Do I have what it takes? I don't know if I have what it takes to actually, you know, get there. But it'll be fun trying for sure. I don't... Uh, I don't uh, foresee me going too very far, but you know, I'm not, I wouldn't consider myself a pro player by no means, but we'll certainly give it a go and see what we can do there. So we're going to try to hit that first one on October 10th. So we need to get 10 tickets. Hmm. We're going to try it. We are certainly going to try it and see how well we can do there. So exciting news there. $100,000. Now, obviously, the winner's not going to get $100,000. That's just the prize pool for the 12 qualifiers that will go out there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is big, this is big, big, big news. All right, so after that, this one here, they say Hex Update Exciting Times. They talk about the Invitational again, they talk about the VIP, and then they get down here and they talk more about media. Remember last week they uh, debuted, or not debuted, showed off some Hex streamers, and I mentioned, oh, wouldn't it be cool if they showed off some YouTubers? Well, they kind of did a little bit of both. They did, you know, some uh, other media outlets. It's not just strictly YouTubers. It's, um, you know, some, uh, they got Two Turns Ahead on here, which is a uh, blog. They have Threshold the Podcast, which is, I think Two Turns Ahead is a blog. No, that is a podcast as well. I don't listen to Two Turns Ahead. I don't think I ever have. Maybe once or, maybe once. I'm not sure. Um, then Threshold, I've listened to Threshold quite a few times. And they have five the Five Shards website. Everybody's pretty familiar with Five Shards with their, uh, um, the uh, different cups that they do, blood, sapphire, all sorts of stuff there. And you guys have probably participated in, a, in one or two or maybe more than uh, two of those tournaments there. And then they go on and, and uh, show off a YouTuber here, which is uh, Aaron Squire. Um, he does deck building with the Squire. Um, I was uh, privileged enough to be on his show. I don't even remember when it was. It was it's probably a year and a half, maybe two years ago now. Um, I was on I was on his show. He was a really nice guy. Um, uh, certainly a stand up community member for sure. Um, if you don't know him, go ahead and check out his YouTube channel and uh, uh, take a look at that. And you will definitely know what I mean when I say he is a pretty pretty nice guy and a stand up community member. Um, so yeah, he does deck building with the Squire, and it, he says it airs at 8 p.m. Central Time. Um, if you can't make it to the, to the live show, don't worry because uh, I syndicate my work out to YouTube during the following weekend. So he he records it, you know, he streams it, and then actually records it and then po posts it on YouTube so you guys can check it out at a later time if you can't make the actual live stream there. So good for him, good for all these guys here that get uh, get exposure there. You know what? I just I'm not making the list. I'm still not making the list, darn it. So maybe we need to do something else. I don't know. Oh well, that's not a big deal. So congratulations to everyone there. Um, yeah, so that is, I mean, a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff there. The uh, press release was pretty big. Um, I saw that um, come, out through, come through Twitter. I think some people started retweeting Corey's a post that Corey did and a link to that there and the road to the $100,000 tournament just happened to hop onto the website from my phone and that was the first thing that showed up and I read all about that that day so that was a pretty exciting day. I wanted to do the video that day which was yesterday obviously but not so much so that is the updates and the news that was released this week. A lot of news, a lot of news, a lot, a lot more than in weeks past for sure. So hopefully you guys are enjoying that um, and are and are as excited as I am about this this hex invitational tournament. So yes. So now let's get to the fun part. And guess what? This week I did remember to draw the winners before starting recording the video. So for the top five picks here are the top five winners they're over here on my other monitor so i'm looking that way we got seismic at number one old world number two thunderbeard three frostwind four and ream in number five congratulations to you guys we'll get those cards out to you as always 
as the video is in post process. And for the weekly pack giveaway, we have Old World. So congratulations there. I'll get that pack sent out to you again as the video is processing. So now let's go ahead and hop into the game and crack this week's pack and see what we have to give away. Into the store we go and open a pack. How many do we got this time? We just got one for, for our VIP award. We have uh, one. Whew. Whew. Good thing we got one. Where did they all go? I don't know. Did I draft? Oh, yes, I did. I drafted. So I got two primals sitting there. We got some other packs from other sets there. So let's crack this guy open. See what it has to offer. Hmm. It decided to want to pause on me there. There we go. Just a rare... So starting with our commons, we have Arcane Zephyr, Vampegasus, Cry of Adamant, Scrapyard Dynamo, First Blood, Windborn Disciple, Boomsmith, Lit Lith, Lyricist, thank you very much, Vamp Vampiric Kiss, Throwback, and rounding out the commons is Granite Giant. For uncommons, we have Grim Harvester. Grove Whisperer and Duskwing Reclaimer. And for our rare this week, we have Soul of Battle, two casting cost, single Ruby Threshold, quick action. Target troop you control gets crush. This deals double damage, and at the end of your turn, sacrifice this. So that is this week's pack for Hex Update Saturday. Let me know what your top five picks are in the comments down below if you want to know want to know if you want to let me know something else other than your top five picks be sure to do so if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of these of course you have to click subscribe down below and we'll have another video for you soon